Good morning everyone. Today we shall learn about various connective tissues in the animals. We all know it's the blood, a red liquid that keeps us alive. And we also know how important blood is. But what exactly is blood? The blood may look like red liquid but it has different cells and it is also a tissue. Blood supports other tissues by providing nutrients and connects them. For example, lung sends oxygen to the tissues through blood. Digestive system provides nutrients to the tissues through blood. So, we can say blood is a connective tissue that transports oxygen, food, hormones, waste materials and it is a fluid tissue. You know, bone is also a connective tissue. How does hard, rigid bones fall into the same category as blood? That is, they both are connective tissues. You know, in a connective tissue, cells are loosely spaced and embedded in an intercellular matrix. The matrix may be jelly-like, fluid, dense or rigid. In case of blood, that matrix is fluid and is called plasma. So, blood is a liquid or fluid you can say. In case of bone, that matrix is dense, rigid, which is composed of calcium and phosphorus compounds. So, the connective tissues connect, support, bind or separate other tissues or organs. The bones also support other organs or tissues. For example, it anchors the muscles and supports the main organs. Touch your ear. It's hard but flexible unlike bones. This is cartilage, another kind of connective tissue which has widely spaced cells. Cartilage has solid matrix and is made of protein and sugar. Hence, it is solid but flexible. Cartilage also smoothens bone surface at the joints. Apart from ears, cartilage is also present in nose, trachea, larynx, etc. So, the cartilage supports bone. In nose and ear, the cartilage creates a supportive structure. So, it is a connective tissue. Now, the two bones are connected to each other by an elastic tissue, which also has considerable strength. This connective tissue is called the ligament. Ligaments contain very little matrix. We also know the muscles are connected to the bones with fibrous tendon tissues. So, the tendons are the connective tissues. Tendons have great strength but limited flexibility. There is a tissue called areolar tissue which can be found between the skin and muscles, around the blood vessels and nerves and in the bone marrow. It fills the space inside the organs, supports internal organs and helps in repair of tissues. So, this tissue that is areolar tissue is also a type of connective tissue. People don't like to be fat but the adipose tissues that stores fat is a connective tissue too. Can you guess how? It is found below the skin and between the internal organs. It supports the organ by providing insulation and cushions from external blows. The cells of the adipose tissues are filled with fat globules. Because of the storage of fats, the adipose tissue acts as an insulator. So, now you know the connective tissue connects, supports, binds or separates other tissues or organs. And also that every type of tissue is specialized in certain type of task, right? We also know the different types of connective tissues are blood, bones, cartilage, ligament, tendon, areolar tissues and adipose tissues. That's all for now. Bye-bye.